Okay, in today's video, we'll be installing Matacera on a Orange Pi PC single board computer. So first, um, I need to get the Batacera image file, or operating system image file. So uh, you're going to need a couple of things before you start. You'll need a program called Vanilla Etcher, which is right here. I'll leave it in the video description below. And the second thing you need is you need the Batacera image. So you just go to Batacera's website, which is right here. I'll leave it in the video descriptions below as well. It's um, H. It's just Batacera.org or org. For vanilla, etcher, it's vanilla.io forward slash etcher forward slash. So for Vanilla Etcher, just select the run for your operating system. For me, I have Windows 11 Pro, so it's Etcher for Windows X86, X64, portable. Already downloaded my copy and installed it, so you could do that if you haven't already. So let's, go, let's go to Batacera's website. When you're in the website, go to Downloads and just select the right one for your board. I, I'm using an Orange Pi PC which is this one right here. I downloaded mine. All you do is you just click on it and it'll start downloading. And let's just plug in your micro SD card with, with in a um, USB reader. I already did that. So I'm going to copy this image onto that micro SD card reader. So I'm going to start Vanilla Etcher. Okay, so select from file. This is what I want. Control C. I'm going to copy that. Control V. This is what I want. I'm going to select the device that I'm going to be copying the image to. Make sure you select the right one because everything will be deleted on that disk. So it's for me, it's I just want to check for sure. It's iDrive. I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card attached to a USB reader. Okay, so that's iDrive. Correct. Select. I'm going to flash it. Okay, first decompressing the file. Now we'll be flashing it. So I'll be forwarding through this. You don't have to watch this stuff. It's boring. Okay, it's almost done. After this, it'll be verifying it. This is also going to take a little bit of time to see if the image was flashed correctly. Okay, done. Just exit out of here. This 
drive can't be read in Windows operating system, so just eject it and just put it into your um, retro. I mean, just put it into your Orange Pi PC after. That's all you got to do. I'm just going to remove it. Okay, just like that. That's it. Now I'll be going to my Orange Pi PC, SVC, and configure it. Okay, now I turned on my Orange Pi PC with Bottas Air in it. Actually, I reset it. So when you first turn it on, um, it's going to do this configuration thing. And you have to configure the controls. I already configured it. So. But if you want to configure it, uh, if you made a mistake and if you want to configure it, just press start and go to controller and Bluetooth settings. Go to controller mapping, OK. Just press any button, keep it pressed, and it will detect your controller. And then you just set or configure your control pad here. So when you first turn on your um, single board computer, it's going to configure the files and then it's going to lead you to this screen. So you just configure the controls, do exactly as it says. A, B, Y, Z, X, Y, start, select, D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, left shoulder one, right shoulder one, analog, up, analog, left, right analog, up, right analog, left um, left shoulder right shoulder left right hotkey I'm gonna put you select button just press it lightly once and then that's it go back um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some ROMs into my single board computer so I'm gonna go to my go back to my computer and do that work settings here here you could get the IP address of uh, RetroPie and um, of course the host name is Batacera I don't have Wi-Fi on this single board computer
Now I'm back from my computer, so we have to restart this. Restart the emulation station or battle center. So press start. Go to quit. Restart. And you should be able to see all your ROMs. Okay, so now I have all my ROMs that I put in here. And what I want to do now is I want to just try to show you how you can change the themes. Press start. You can go to update and download and download more themes if you want. Whatever theme you want. You can download here. I already downloaded what I wanted so I'm going to go to game settings. Not game settings, uh, it's UI settings, theme set, action button, I like Arcade Planet so I'm going to switch it to that. So this is a new theme that I put in there, different from the old default theme which is pretty plane so I'm gonna run some ROMs the Nintendo Entertainment System I'll start with that play Russian attack you don't need to use put any BIOSes for SNES SNES Sega Genesis Mega Drive Game Gear Game Boy Okay, let's start. I like how they have the overlays for Batisera, which wasn't present for Retro Pie or Retro Orange Pie. So as you can see, it runs the NES emulator pretty good. There's no problems here. It's running without any problems. Pretty smoothly. Okay, let me get out of here. Let's try some others. Press the back button. For some reason, PC Engine doesn't work. None of the ROMs work for PC Engine or Turbo Graphics. It works perfectly fine on Orange Pie. Even the ones that it came with, like Saint Atlantan, doesn't work. I don't think there's any BIOS files for PC Engine or Turbo Graphics. Unless you're using PC Engine CD. Okay, so that doesn't work. Try Game Boy. This overlay looks really nice. It, it does look like a Game Boy. Gives it that retro feeling. Okay, that's enough. It looks like a Game Boy. Let's try. 
try Super Nintendo. You can see the Super Famicom overlay. Kind of looks like a Super Famicom console in a way. Runs pretty good. So run Super Nintendo just fine. I'll try Sega Master System. And this actually does look like a Sega Master System. The overlay that is looks nice. Okay, that ran pretty good. So I'll show you which buttons are what on this camera. Um, this is the back button right here. This is the action button, so if I go into the Sega Master System, I press that. If I want to get back, I press that. The way that I map it. Now let's try Sega Genesis. You could press the select button to find find the ROMs that you're looking for more easily. Let's select S Sonic 2. That ran pretty well. Let's try Neo Geo. I'll 
This, uh, the Neo Geo emulator does require BIOS files. Um, the procedure of, of adding the BIOS files is the same as RetroPy or Retro Orange Pi. So you could refer to some of my reference videos to do that if you wish to put in uh, the BIOS files and run Neo Geo emulator. Select is in inputting coins and start is the start. It's the same on a RetroPie, Retro Orange Pie, and Retro Arc. Mission one start. Okay, it runs pretty good. Neo Geo runs just fine. Now we'll try... Of course it's going to run Atari 2600 and Atari 7800, no problems. Didn't have any problems running any Atari 2600 ROMs, which I'll show you. Okay, runs it pretty good. No problem. Try Atari 7800. Play Commando. I have to say the NES version is a lot better than uh, the Atari 7800 version of Commando. Okay, runs pretty good. Try Atari Lynx. Okay, it's got an overlay, which looks like an Atari Lynx. Looks nice, actually. No BIOS files are required for Atari Lynx. Atari 2600 or Atari 7200. So it runs pretty good.
Okay, let's try the N64. Mario, Super Mario 64. That didn't sound good. So in order, if you want to play the N64 emulator, you need to use the left analog stick to move. Kind of choppy. It's not as good as Retro Orange Pie. I'm using a Orange Pie PC. The sound is not good. That's all I could say. So if you want to go into the settings, you just press the hot key and this button right here. That doesn't seem to work with a SNES simulator. Okay, I'm gonna run MAME now. Or Arcade Emulator. There's MAME. Okay, in order to get to that menu, it's hot button and number two right here. So I'm gonna go back. So to get there, it's hot button and number two. So you press the back button to, to go here. And you can go to video settings and change the aspect ratios and stuff like that. Which I'll show you for another game. For some reason there's no frame rate count for Batacera. So getting to this part is exactly the same as a retro orange pie. You could change the audio settings. You could save and do all other types of stuff. You could save your game. You could change the configuration. Or you could quit if you want. I don't want to quit. I want to go back and try this. Test this game.
Okay, this game runs fine. Let's try the Ninja Warriors, which is another demanding game. Sometimes the aspect ratio is not always correct, especially for this game, since this game used three screens. So this doesn't look right, so I want to go back to settings. Go back again, go to uh, video. I want to go to scaling here. Change the aspect ratio. To, I guess, let me see. Oh, that's not good. Let's try this. No. Okay, that looks good. Four one looks pretty good, so let me go back. Okay, now that looks much better. So Ninja Warriors runs pretty good. No problems here. So let me go back to settings. Press back. You can go to configurations file and go to save current configuration or it's save new configuration I'm not really sure it's either one of these two so if you want to save it you can what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit that ran fine no problems at all I'm gonna try elevator action returns for some reason it doesn't run very good on RetroPie and I'll show you sound distortions. This is not good. It's obviously having a problem running it. It's playable but it's a bit choppy. I did have some problems running this game on uh, Retro Orange Pie as well. 
it was as choppy as this, so it's it's got to be the Orange Pie PC. Okay, so a lot of games run pretty good on main, but some of them don't, like Elevator Action Returns. So let me go back and try something else. So we're gonna. I'm gonna run the. Sony PlayStation for the last test. Oh, where is it? There it is, PlayStation. Uh, you have to put ROMs, uh, BIOS files to run the PlayStation emulator. A bit choppy. It's worse than Retro Orange Pie. I don't think it's playable. It's too choppy to play to be able to be playable. No, it doesn't work. Let's try this. See if it works. It doesn't work very well on Patacera, but it does work good, well on a Retro Orange Pie. Well, I shouldn't have any problem running this game. This is a 16-bit game. So let me get out of here. So the PlayStation wasn't very good. Let's try a Sega CD. Or Mega Drive CD. And you need to you put in the BIOS files to run Sega CD. I have a tutorial video on that. You could look at it in the video descriptions below. So the Sega CD or Mega Drive CD is basically um, it's a 16-bit video game console which uses a CD basically. It's not a 32-bit video game console. So 32-bit video game console would be something like the Sony PlayStation or. Sega Saturn or uh, 
Panasonic's radio. So this single board computer shouldn't have any problem should not have any problems running this emulator. Okay, this runs pretty good, no problems. I couldn't get any of the games for Sega Saturn to work, even though I put in all the files files and everything. Didn't work. So what do I think of uh, Batacera? I think it's pretty good in, in that it has overlays, but it does have some performance issues with 32-bit game consoles like the PlayStation uh, 1. And it does have some issues with running uh, the N64 emulator. On a Retro Orange Pi, I was able to get at least 30 frames per second for games like um, Mario 64 and other games. But on the on the Batacera emulator, it was totally unplayable. So basically, uh, the good thing about Batacera is that it is supported while Retro Orange Pi is not supported so you're not going to be able to update Retro Orange Pi because its development has stopped so if you want to update Batacera you can go here you can start update mine is already updated so it I don't have to update it any further. So now we're done. So anyways, um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching by Ace, 1000KS, 1975, signing out. And if you want to shut down the system, just press start, go to quit, and shut down system, and that's it. Okay, thanks for watching.